head over to miniaturemarket.com where they have thousands of board games at discounted prices like Picture Perfect. Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here. You're about to see my Allegro one minute overview and final thoughts. This is designed to see if this game warrants more of your time. If it does, just keep watching because then you'll see my full intro overview and final thoughts. However, if you don't want to be spoiled anything and you want to skip right to the full review, use the time index below in YouTube. Picture Perfect is the deduction game for two to four players where you're trying to make that perfect picture. And throughout the game, you'll be secretly learning where each character wants to be, like standing next to the dog. At the beginning, you'll be going through multiple characters' envelopes, learning what each of them want, and trying to see how many you can fulfill. But as the game goes on, some of those will go away to other players, and you'll be getting new ones to give you new information. Plus, you can have an advanced variant to try to auction off certain envelopes that you want to learn info on. And at the end, you take a final picture trying to fulfill as many of the requests as possible. Getting as many as six points if you fulfill all three, or minus three points if you don't get any of them. And you don't even have to place guess if you're not really sure what they want. And you'll even need to hide faces of some like that maid in the back row there. So let's see how many of these guest requests you can fulfill. Picture Perfect is a breath of fresh air in both unique and mechanisms. It's such a fresh take on deduction. It's great for non-gamers and enthusiasts. You can use your standees to, 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 to keep notes, if you will. You're trying to take this really cool picture in the end. You're trying to time which one's going to be your VIP and when do you slide that in there. There's some advanced variants. You could play up to five to six players in an expansion. Setup time takes a little long for what the game is, but if you have people helping you, it's not a big deal. Very hard to find anything else to fault with this game. It is almost perfect. Picture perfect. Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here today. We are a professional photographer trying to take that perfect picture, but all of the guests have their own idea of what will make the picture perfect. And you're trying to suffice all of those at the same time. Today we take a look at Picture Perfect from Arcane Wonders. Let me show you how the game's played. I'll see you on the other side. In Picture Perfect, you're gonna be setting up that perfect picture in the place of your choice, like the ballroom, or maybe the bar, or maybe the beautiful valley, or maybe at the beach. Now each player gets the same set of characters. Here's just one of them, but there's envelopes that will have three requests of each character that you'll secretly look at. Like this person wants to stand next to the dog, or he wants to stand in the middle of the table in one of these six spots. and he doesn't want to stand next to a woman. And the more of these requests that you can fulfill at the end of the game when you have your picture ready, the more points you'll get. At the beginning of the game, you're going to get a certain amount of envelopes depending on the amount of players, and each envelope is going to have three requests, like things like I showed you before. Now you're going to look at through these envelopes, one envelope at a time, and starting to stage the characters as to where they want to go, and yes, one of them is actually a plant. So for example, this person wanted to have nobody in front of them and they wanted to stand next to the dog. Now each person has to be in one of these spots around the table that's lined out, only one person per spot, and they also did not want to stand next to a female. So I can take, let's say, any one of the females and turn it sort of backwards to kind of take notes and be like, okay, this person does not want to stand next to the, you know, a female. So you'll start to take notes like that and you'll start to go through and you're trying to fulfill as many requests from as many guests as possible. So after you look through your first envelopes and you're kind of ready to go, then you're going to start swapping envelopes around. And so each round there'll be like sort of a little rule there, like in this case this is for two players. Both players simultaneously take one envelope from the other player. Or maybe it's both players give two envelopes to the other player. Or maybe reveal the contents of two random envelopes from the middle of the table because there's some out in the middle that players don't have. Uh, or maybe both players keep an envelope and place the rest in the middle of the table, shuffle all the envelopes, and then randomly deal each other player out. So you're going to be getting different information about it. By the way, there is an auction variant, which is an advanced variant, where there are different types of auctions that will happen with players bidding with your little decorations here, uh, because every decoration you have at the end would be an extra point in this variant, but it gives it a little bit more strategy of knowing which ones and which envelopes you're going to be actually bidding for in different types of auctions. Now throughout the game, you can place, everyone starts with a one VIP card. And when you're looking at the envelope, you can place this back in this envelope, and this guest gets scored twice. You typically want to do this 
with someone that you have all three of their requests correct because you're going to be able to double the most points. But when you do it, is some, there's some strategy there, whether because you might have this one perfect, but someone might end up taking it from you. So do you put it in now or do you wait till later? There's some strategy as to which one you want to score twice, but it's always secret. But if somebody else gets this envelope after you've placed this in, they'll know that that one's a VIP and they might want to give special attention to that guest. Now this is going to last for six rounds. You're going to get, you know, a lot of envelopes first and then you'll be swapping and moving envelopes between each round. But then you've got to take a photo that shows just the backdrop and your picture like this. And you're hopefully going to score as many points as possible. Now some of the guests, like the yellow uh, gowned woman there in the front next to the tall man in the middle, she's blocking that maid's face. And that's because that woman in the yellow dress did not want the maid to be seen. So there's certain things that sometimes you want blocked, sometimes you don't. You can also use some of the decorations to block things and things like that. But you're trying to get your photo and then once you have your photo, everyone's going to go to final scoring. Now before you take your photo, you can decide to place as many or as little characters as possible. Now why would you do that? Well, because if you don't place them, they're just worth zero points. But if you get all three of them wrong, they're worth minus three. Now if you get just one right, they're worth a point. So sometimes you might not want to place anyone, maybe because you didn't learn anything about them. But sometimes it's better to leave them out if you're not sure because you're only going to get a point if you get one right and you'll get minus three if you get them all wrong. So you'll go through each character one at a time, you'll open the envelope, you'll look at the three requests, and you'll see what happens and everyone will score. Now again, these do all different things like, hey, I want to stand next to the maid, or I want to stand in the third row, or I want to stand uh, you know, next to this guest, things like that that I've already said. I want to make sure that nobody sees the face of the dog. So whoever's envelope this was in would need to be blocking that dog. Now that means just the dog's face and the guest whose this was in would be the one that would need to be blocking them. But maybe someone has, I don't want anyone to see my face. And that's when sometimes you could use another character or you could use one of the decorations to make sure that, that they're not seen. So again, you're going to go through each one. You're going to score depending on how many of them you got right. If you get all three requests right for each character, you're going to get six points for each of those. Whoever has the most points at the end is the winner. Picture Perfect is a breath of fresh air. It's, I'm so tired of seeing the same old themes and the same old mechanisms. This game, both of those are just unique. Unique theme for sure. You're a photographer trying to take all the requests of people and put them in, in the right spot to get the most points. That is just unique. You don't see that every day. In fact, I've never seen it before. It's done so well. And the mechanisms blend so well with the theme. You're looking at what their requests are. They're telling you what you want. You're like, uh, you don't want to stand next to this person, but this person's standing there and that person wants to stand in this row and this one doesn't want anyone in front of you and this one. Wants... And you're like, wait, 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 wait a minute. And it, it's like, literally, it brings you back to having, watching a family try to get together to take a picture. Like, it's so funny. But the mechanisms match. That's what's going on. Now, this is a very fresh take on deduction because it's like, you're looking at this, you're like, okay, it's like those little logic puzzles. It's like, this one's greater than this. This one needs to be here, but this one needs to be there. And this means that this one can't go over here, but this one goes over here. And you're not always going to be able to do everything for everybody. So you've got to decide which ones you're going to go for uh, and which ones you're going to really focus on trying to get all three, which ones maybe to be like, you know what? This person's just a pain in the butt and they're screwing up my whole puzzle. I'm just gonna leave them out, right? And it's better to get zero points than minus three if you don't get anything right with them. So I like that. There's some strategy to this as well with the deduction. Now, typically I don't like memory games or games that have memory elements. And this does have a memory element because some of the envelopes that you have might end up in other, they will end up either in the middle of the table or in other players' hands. And you've got to sort of remember, but I like that you can sort of take notes with the standees where you're like putting them backwards so you can't see them and doing this and that. And you're, you you learn like your own sort of little nomenclature to try to remember things. And I like that, that it actually does bring an element of sort of quote unquote memory, but at the same time, it, it, you're coming up with your own little clues as to like what this person wants or what, what this person doesn't want just based upon right there. Cause you can't just like take notes on a paper. You've got to do it with the standees and where they're standing. I think that's really clever. Uh, I love at the end, you've got to take your picture. There's a whole photography guide in here on how to do it and what, what to do, what not to do. It has to be like just the background. You can't have anything outside, stuff like that. It's just fun. It's really fun to like share this on social media or share it with other people to have like, you know, the, the, the candles blocking someone's face. And, you know, it's just a fun, fun idea. 
uh, and it's just done so well. Try and decide which one's gonna be our VIP that's gonna score double, and when do you do that? Do you do it right at the end when you're like, okay, no one's gonna get this envelope anymore, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be the only one that knows this, but you might not be able to do that depending on everything else, and you might be like, oh man, I could do all three of these, but I gotta break this up and then that up, and now I can't remember what this one was. Or do you just kind of like, you know what, this one's good, I got it here, I'm gonna put it in early, sure, someone else might get that envelope, but maybe they, maybe it'll mess their picture up the way they have it set up. So who knows? I love that you could have, you know, you basically have the same puzzle here, but there can be multiple solutions depending on how things are. I like that aspect of it. Everyone's picture could look different uh, and you're still having fun. There is that auction variant where a lot of people say that they've really liked it. Uh, for me, I like the streamlined nature of the game. I, I, I don't dislike the auction variant, but I'm most of the time just gonna play without it just because it's, it's fun and it's easy. You can get it, get it to the table really quick. I like that there is a five to six player expansion. The game doesn't really get a whole lot longer with more players because everyone's doing everything simultaneously. It's brilliant. Uh, on the negative side of things, the, the game does take a little bit while to set up and take down because you've got to separate out three cards and put it in every envelope. If everyone's helping, real quick, no problem. But if you're like setting up this game by yourself, it's gonna take a little bit of time just to set up given how short the game is. But uh, that's the only negative, I'm nitpicking here because this game is fantastic. So unique, so different, so fresh. I love deduction. This is a really great, great package, great production. Picture perfect, special one this year for sure. And because of that, it's getting a saxophone serenade. So let's hit it. Game Toppers not only transforms your existing table to a high quality gaming solution, they now offer full leg kits and dining cover solutions for the full table application. Paired with their amazing thematic premium stitch edge mats from noted board game artists like Vincent Dutre, collapsible cup holders, and really cool accessories, it's a complete system that upgrades every game you play. Go to GameToppersLLC.com or click the link below.